higher authority did not want to consult on cuts that we do not agree with, mm. I have to did say... Did these things as No, we did. But we didn't want the cuts. We, did, we do not want the cuts because we do not think they're necessary. We do not think the, um, the one penny tax cut is, is worth making these cuts for, every single party, apart from the Conservatives, on the, at City Hall came up with costed alternatives to this. These cuts are not necessary. And to start saying that because we had a say to make sure that there was more transparency than there might have been otherwise, in terms of having consultation meetings at all, is, is kind of disingenuous. You did not want consultation meetings. You did not want consultation meetings, and these meetings are happening. So, Chair, so can, I, can I raise a point forward, please? I'm conscious that it's nine o'clock and the meeting is just finished quite soon. Um, and I understand that passions are very high, but there's a number of people, I'm one of them, who have had their hands up for a considerable time and haven't yet spoken once. And I think allowing other people to speak two or three times without going through the chair is probably not fair to the people waiting to speak. Hear me. Okay, yeah, thank you, Paul. I'm, I'm very aware of that. Um, I am aware of who has been putting their hands up, and I'm trying to get round to you in order of when you put your hands up. I will be coming to you, and we are going to let it run on. Okay, so thank you, Paul. Uh, your uh, concerns are acknowledged. Um, Commissioner, would you like to come back? Just, just, just very briefly on that. The reason that the World Level Danger is in the presentation is two reasons. Really. One is that, as the Chairman said, as a matter of fact, the presentation was actually written by the Committee of the Authority, and I was instructed what to say and what not to say. In terms of the wall level data, it actually wasn't available, so I was awful lot of work going into that. But I do, I do take exception to the view that it was buried on the website. If you can find it within five minutes on an iPhone, I would have said that's not actually buried. Um, it is available and anyone can access it as you've demonstrated this evening. Thank you. Did you not know that then? Did you not know it? I didn't know the exact detail of that right sitting there. Okay, how did you come to a meeting? Not knowing. That's complete and out of line. And you expect us to sit here and listen to you? It's rubbish, complete rubbish. Okay, um, right, so we're going up the back with the glasses, please. And you're talking rubbish as well. Rubbish. 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 Rubbish.
I don't think it's a coincidence that uh, we're in, you know, this is 2013, we're in the middle of what is possibly the deepest crisis of capitalism ever, and we're seeing these uh, cuts, not just to fire stations, but to other, uh, other things. Obviously in 2008 we had uh, you know, the banking crisis, the banks facing collapse, <coughs> the government bailed them out and just passed on the banking crisis to a crisis of public finances. And the, the simple thing is that it's us, the working class, we're being asked to pay with our jobs, with our terms and conditions, with our services, and now with these fire station cuts, with our lives. So, uh, <coughs> you know, the, the one percent, the bankers, the, uh, the the people who own businesses, you know, they're doing very nicely out of this. In this context, I wanted to ask the uh, the commissioner and the chairman. This is a question raised before, which hasn't been answered. Can you guarantee that this uh, this isn't just the beginning, and that this is you know these cuts aren't just the start, that there won't be any more cuts? Uh, you know, the, the governor of the Bank of England was saying this crisis, he thinks it's going to go on for decades. Senior uh, you know, strategists of the bank say this will go on for decades. I don't think this is just the start. I think we actually need to organize a serious fight back, and this involves a political struggle. James, to me, I think I'm just conscious of the time. We've got okay, sorry, my final questions. sentence then is I think we need, uh, need labour to power with socialist policies. So, not just the, the policies of made a band of, oh, we'll just have cuts but nicer. How can you cut fire stations but nicely? I think we need socialist powers, uh, policies, nationalise the banks, nationalise the top 150 monopolies, and uh, actually use all that uh, wealth in society to, to you know, plan production for people's needs. Thank you, James. Thank you.